This is the circuit of serial in serial out shift register 4 bit. So 4 D flip flops are connected in series. So this is flip flop 3, 2, 1 and 0. The clock is given simultaneously to all the flip flops. We will assume the data 1011 to be shifted inside this circuit. So at the end of the fourth clock pulses, the output of this shift register will be, we expect it should be 1011. Now the same circuit is mounted on the breadboard. You can see here, this is flip flop 3, this is 2, 1 and 0. So this is Q0, this is Q1, Q2 and this is Q3. The clock source is a manual clock source. We are giving the clock pulses from this source which we have. So let us start the circuit. Initially you can see that the data in the shift register is 0, 0. All the LEDs are off. This all the LEDs are off. So the data is 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we have to start giving the data from the LSB. So first data LSB. So I will connect this to high. I will give the first clock pulse. So you can see that the first data has entered into the flip flop. Now I am giving the next data. Next data is 1. Again 1. So let that be there only. I will give the next clock pulse. So you can see that the second flip flop has also become 1. So the, after this end of the two clock pulses the data entered in the register is 1100 now the third data bit is 0 so I am giving this and connecting it to the 0 0 I am giving the clock pulse again third clock pulse so when I give the third clock pulse you can see that the data is shifted to the right side so this has become 0 1 1 now I have to give the last bit that is 1 so this I will again connect to 1 and I will give the last clock pulse which is the fourth one. So at the end of the fourth clock pulse you can see the data which is entered into the flip flop or in the register is 1011. Thus the data 1011 is shifted serially inside this register. That's why it is called as a serial in register.